Practicing new combo decks in MTGO is a pain, especially when the deck requires perfect loops repeated over a million times. It seems nearly impossible. But what if I told you that the metadata for Pioneer might be skewed, that the true potential of combo decks is hidden behind the scenes thanks to the dominance of MTGO data? Enter Soul Tyrona, a combo deck like no other. It's elegant, it's powerful, and it's about to turn the Pioneer format on its head. Picture this. A simplistic combo that revolves around Rona, Mox Amber, and Retraction Helix. You target Rona with Retraction Helix, tap Mox Amber for mana, and bounce the same with Helix Rona. Then you cast Mox Amber again and untap Rona, producing infinite mana and creating infinite storm triggers. This version of the combo deck offers you maximum redundancy and interaction, with Fay of Wish granting you access to your toolbox sideboard and Tyvar for recursion, you've got redundancy covered. But what truly sets Sultairona apart is its ultimate color for disruption, black. With cards like Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, Duress, and Ray of Enfeeblement, this deck becomes an unstoppable force. Sultairona is not just a deck, it's a beast that's ready to dominate the Pioneer format. Get ready to witness the power of true combo potential as we unveil the secrets of Sultairona. For our first case study, first game, let's see our opening hand. All right, we're going to keep this hand. It is a bit reactive. We have two Botanical Sanctum, one Tyvar, two Jaces. We are hoping to catch up with our combo via Consider and Jace while maintaining a positive hand because we do have Tyvar in hand. So our Rona, if ever we're going to draw into them, are going to be discarded by a Jace and then dig into Tyvar and then from there hopefully combo off. Oh, opponent is on Concealed Courtyard. This could only mean one thing, Grease Fang. We're going to draw. We got Mox Amber, Land Drop Botanical Sanctum and pass the turn. Opponent plays a land and starts off with a Duress. That's a good sign for us because it meant that they kept a very slow hand. They're going to take Tyvar and they did take Tyvar. From this position, we can freely consider at end of turn. We're going to take Takenuma, Abandoned Mire, primarily because we don't have a black mana source that will be correcting our current issue. We top deck a Fatal Push, very good top deck for us so that we can interact with our opponent. From here, we're going to put in Botanical Sanctum and Jace just so we can limit the information that our opponent saw while putting in Mox Amber first. The reason being is that if they kept a Fatal Push, which they most likely kept in interactive hand, we will be able to float mana because Amber is still in play while Jace resolved. Fortunately for us, they don't have a Fatal Push at end of turn and they're merely past the turn. Now we can consider in peace. That's a fail wish, which we will bin. We are looking for a Rona. Retraction Helix, this is now two thirds of our combo. We're going to shock this in so that we can Takenuma at end of turn and pass the turn. We're keeping our avenues in case the end of turn Grizzly Salvage into Grease Fang. We have a Jace into Fatal Push as a response. Pathway into an Escus Triot, definitely a very slow keep from our opponent. We're going to Takenuma, bring back our Tyvar. Unfortunately, we haven't found Rona still. We're going to draw this card using Jace, flip it, discard our Lazav, cast our Tyvar, take it down. Let's see if we're lucky. Unfortunately, we only have Lazav and Fail Vish with 39 cards in our library. Odds are in our favor. Let's consider. And we're going to bin that by Lazav's ability. We have no choice here but to Fatal Push and take up with a Cat Token. Fifth land from our opponent, Takenuma. It's a bit odd. Oh, that's because they play Skyship Sovereign. It looks like they're hard casting all their vehicles. Going to shoot our Lazav. Luckily, Cat Token is a 0-2. It buys us some time. That's a fail Vish. We're going to try to dig for our namesake card, Rona. This should be able to make us see now at least 30 cards in our library. That's 50%. Unfortunately, we are not able to find still Rona. We're going to take Thoughtseize and consider so that we can still dig a bit further for our namesake card. Let's go Thoughtseize. Oh, lucky we take back Grease Fang. We're going to 
cycle our Amber so that we get more mana, get Jace Brain's Prodigy, just to make sure that we are able to flip into Jace Telepath next turn. We're hoping that they don't get a Grease Fang in hand or anything that can crew their Skyship Sovereign from this position. Cat Attack is attacking our Tyvar. Now we have two Train of Thoughts here. We can let go of the Tyvar or we can block the Cat token and let go of our Jace. I feel like digging further into the deck is better. Tyvar can do it, but at the same time Jace could in a way wherein we can interact. So I'm going to take the Jace route. Tyvar goes to the bin. We draw a Mana Confluence. We're going to flashback, consider, play consider. Finally, we get Rona into hand. We're going to play Mana Confluence, cast a Rona. Thinking about this, I believe we are very much insulated. If their one card is not a removal for Rona, we are very much insulated against the Skyshift Sovereign attack because that means that they need to use mana to play a creature, crew the Skyshift Sovereign, in which case I will respond with a Retraction Helix Casting our Jace, then bounce the Skyship Sovereign after it's being crewed, then put it back to their hand. Then they don't have a way to cast the Skyship Sovereign back, making our Rona invincible for the turn. Next turn, we can flip our Jace into Retraction Helix. Then combo. Ooh, opponent tops decks a Vassal of Nascency. It's looking good for us. It looks like they can't win this turn. Four cards exiled. And it's just Grease Fang with no vehicles in the graveyard. I think we're going to win. We're going to flashback Thoughtseize, making sure the top coast is clear, and here comes the combo. We float mana so that we can granted our Aetherflux Reservoir, and then from there, we will cast Aetherflux Reservoir, float again for Monk's Amber, and win. That was well and good, up until if we have an opponent that can interact with our board and also counter our spells. Now let's look at this other case, Study. We are on the play with this card in hand. We do have both our Disruption Package in Thoughtseize and Fatal Push to early interact. We also have our combo Rona, which is going to also be supplemented by Jace and Tyvar. If you ask me, this is the perfect hand that you can keep for this deck. We're gonna put in a land and thought seize. We are against Phoenix. Now this matchup might be tough because they do have interactive spells such as Spell Pierce and a lot of creature removal in the form of Lightning Axe and the three damage to target creature. From this position, we're going to take Lightning Axe because we do have a turn to Rona. Our Bluff Canal and they're gonna pass the turn. Looks like they want to have maximum information so that they can opt correctly. Tyvar, not a very good top deck. But nonetheless, we're going to cast our Rona. They will respond with an opt. Trying to dig for that specific answer. That's a steam vents tapped, which is always promising for us. We have a tap with Rona. That's another thought seize. Now, because I want to dig for a land, we're going to draw a card, discard that extra Rona, cast our Jace, so that we get to untap with our Rona. Draw again with our Rona. Hopefully, get that land. Unfortunately, that's not the land. We're going to discard an extra Tyvar because that's three to cast. And we saw a spell pierce. When it drops land drops, passes the turn. That's a fail bish. Now we need to thought he's first. Check out what's in hand. Pieces of the puzzle. Arc Light Phoenix and Spell Pierce again. We're going to take that puzzle, draw some cards, dig for that land. That's an Amber. Now we have two thirds of the combo. We're going to bin that Fatal Push that looks like won't be required in this matchup. We're going to flip our Jace. Finally, a land. And get that Thought Seize out. Flashback our Thought Seize so that we can get that Spell Pierce out of the hand so that we can cast Mox Amber and untap our Rona, land drop past the turn. From this position, we should be able to win. That's a consider, top deck consider, which is nice. Land drop tapped, passes the turn, end of turn, I will loot. From here, we can discard our Fabish. that's a consider. 
we're going to consider and considered ourselves into another fail fish. We're going to fatal push and loot or loot away the fatal push rather. Take up, cast our mox amber and cast granted into our retraction helix. From this position, we just wanted to be in a state where we have redundancy. So if they remove Rona during their turn, we can tiver it back and then combo off. If we are going to retraction helix on our turn and they interact or counter our retraction helix, we can bring it back with Chase. Or if they remove Rona, we can still just cast Tyvar and retraction helix flashback via Jace. So that is the plan. They just hard cast light arc like Phoenix, which is a very good sign for us. They're going to attack Jace. Jace goes to the bin. And from this position, we're going to win. All right, as you can see in this matchup, the Thoughts He's and Jace package interaction actually came in handy to help us secure the win. Most of the time, this is what you want to do if your opponent is interactive with your combo. You can protect it with that sequence. On top of that, we also have redundancy in the form of Tyvar and our Fey of Wish. If you aren't convinced yet, let me show you the undeniable proof. Here's me winning an RCQ with Soul Tyrona using a slightly tweaked decklist for that extra edge. For a detailed blow-by-blow -blow account of the action, head over to my Facebook post. Don't forget to hit that follow button so you won't miss any of the latest updates. Links to my Facebook page can be found in the description below. Click follow and join the conversation. If you enjoyed this video, and want more exciting content like this, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. As always, stay safe.